How do you guys? Um, right, so um, I'll be quick because I haven't got much time because it took ages to get to where I need to be. But today, something very different. Um, I've actually come to a proper, proper venue. Um, obviously, it's to do with this competition uh, that we've got running um, between uh, Dom, uh, Barry, and um, Jord. Um, just to see if I can get a bigger fish to put me in a, a good spot. So, where I've come today, uh, it's no secret because uh, it's a um, day ticketed venue but it's uh, Patsall Park, um, Wolverhampton Way. Uh, it's a trout reservoir, loads of um, silver fishing, like match fishing, carp fishing, bit of everything really. Um, and to be fair, if I turn around really slowly, so don't blur everything. There's the old man as well, got dad with me. Um, so a really nice conversation with the guy running the pool. Uh, I'm on the, it's gonna go really bright, sorry guys. Um, so I'm on the, um, we're in the, the bay, or by the tackle shop at the moment, where you can hire boats. Not here to hire a boat today, uh, it's just literally to uh, walk the bank and have a blast around. Um, really nice day for it, to be fair, but there's, there's silverfish crashing everywhere, so um, really hopeful to have a blast. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can get one out. Oh, can you get the net, Dad? Fish on. Dad. <sighs> Not a bad start at all on a new venue. He's engulfed it. <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> It's not a big one, but it's a great start. Oh, Tudum, eh? Ta Keep it away from that lot. No, you swallowed the lot. Uh, nice one. Hi, guys. Uh, Brand new venue for me, proper venue, not a uh, canal or uh, anything else. And I'm gutted I'd got my camera on to start with, because third cast, I had a pike, have a go at the jig fly, because I've started for the jig fly to work stuff out. But uh, moved up two spots, and this thing inhaled the jig fly. Uh, I saw the reed it came out from, because it just barrows the, the reed out the way. Um, <laughs> this fish. I don't know if I can show you. It's not really going to open up too much. It's got a tiny mouth for the size of the fish. <laughs> oh, but a very, very welcome fish to the first venue. So, oh. But uh, yeah, cool. Right. Pike has absolutely nailed the jig fly. I'm just trying to find out roughly. Can't actually even see where he's hooked. This fish has got a tiny, tiny mouth. That's why that wasn't coming out. Right, put the fish back in the uh, water to recover a minute. It's going to take a couple of minutes just to get that jig fly out. Oh. Once you're off the bank, we're not going to have a tit, I think. It's already weird. Just caught it on camera, it uh, had a lovely little tail walk as well. Can't 
and his gills to get my hands in. There we go. Now I've got your little man. Straight out. Straight back. Awesome. Something just had a flash of that then. Something just had another go right on the edge of the bank to the, the lilies then. Nothing big, it's just a little flash. Oh. <laughs> just scared itself, it's only about four pound I think. Come on little Billy, you can do it. He's gone. Oh, got him, got him. No! Oh. So I've just missed another fish. I'm pretty sure the fish got his teeth into the, uh, the lure as well, so I don't reckon he's coming, in, coming back, but we'll see. I think it might be a resounding no. Blimey. Right, there was something around this tree earlier. It's going to be a bit of a disaster casting around here, but... There's a pike. No, he's still there. No, he's just darted off. Little Tony Jack. Oh, <laughs> you bugger. See how as I started to pull it in really quick as well, it tried to follow. Hello guys, so uh, that sees the end of my first ever session over at Patsel Park. Um, I've known about it for years to be fair, but I've just never got over. Um, uh, I mean, the first person that ever spoke to me about it was uh, well, the guy who was at fault for getting me into pike fishing to be fair. So Darren Dunn, it's all your fault. Um, but he uh, yeah, got me into pike fishing and a few years later he did a session over there on the boats and says like, you've got to come over for the experience, even if you don't catch anything, it's just nice to get out. Well, I've gone there, I haven't gone on the boats today, I've just gone over the lures to see what it's all about. It's a bit of a recce really, um, plus trying to catch a big fish for this competition. <laughs> but um, I've got there on the lures, um, spoke to some really friendly staff in the, uh, the little cafe come hut they've got on the, uh, on the, the bank of the Great Lake, I suppose. Um, and so I just asked, asked the question, like honestly, like, how's it been fishing? I don't know, you'd always think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're just going to say, yeah, it's been fishing really, really well. Um, but everything you had, everything that was said really was substantiated by photos, photos on their, the Facebook page. And when I was talking to some of the guys on the bank as well, they confirmed it really. So um, he's got a really good head of nice size fish in there. I mean, overall, over the years since Darren mentioned it, I've heard really good things and really bad things. And on face value, for me, I'm one of these guys where first 30 seconds uh, to impress, really. And I've got to be fair, they're really nice people, all of them that I spoke to, even the guys fishing on the bank. Um, and especially, I did bump into one of the guys who he's seen some of my videos, which are really nice. Um, but what's even more nice um, is that he said that I'd inspired him to get back into pike fishing. I mean that's that's phenomenal. If that's if my videos do anything like that, just for one or two people, that's absolutely amazing. So it's great. I do apologise. I didn't get your name. I know we shook hands there. I forgot to ask your name, but um, I did see your picture up on the wall in the calf. Um, uh, I think it's about seventeen pound fish. Uh, I'll I'll add that picture in, so you'll know who I'm referring to. But um, yeah, no, um, it's just really nice. Great advice. 
And I know that you think they're, it's, they're, they're there to sell boats to you, and they are. However, um, that's, if you're going to have a blast with the lures, by all means, there are some rules and regulations. Um, and they showed me that that was fine. So and I've got, I think I took a picture of that. If I'm sure I did, I'll add that in as well. Um, but in the video, you saw I only really effectively banked one fish and missed loads. So I'm definitely going back there again. Um, Eight pound fifty a day on the bank with lures. Um, I think it was twenty five pound for the boat, and then you can buy live bait as well, or you can fish dead bait. So uh, yeah, I think when it gets a bit colder. Um, as, a, as the guide, the guide was there was saying, as it, as it gets colder, the fish will come round into the deeper water. Uh, the dam will be in the, the deepest section. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to going back again. To be honest, um, see if I can get there before these competitions out and catch a catch a winner. So uh, yeah, right, love me waffling. Uh, I'll catch you in a bit.